I'm at the little park at the end of my street. You can hear there's a lot of birds around. It's been raining a lot overnight. And you get this little lake that forms. I've got a pair of black ducks there. Just taking advantage of a different spot to... Uh, oh, well, I don't know. Spend a few hours, I suppose. While there's... Uh, water. <laughs> in a hole in the park. can hear a number of other birds, there's a few galahs getting around. And uh, I can hear some rainbow lorikeets. I can hear a crow. But yeah, this is something a little bit different. That little bluey green bit on the back of the wings there. Not something you see every day here. Because we don't have a pond here normally. <laughs> I might see if I can catch those galahs and lorikeets on the film. Of course, I'm looking everywhere but at the ducks while I'm talking to you about that. There's some galahs coming over this way as I speak. Anyway, I'll see if I can find them. Galahs love screaming. guy's doing a very good job of it. <laughs> it's just moved onto that branch there. But of course I'll just uh, see if I can get a little bit closer like I always do. Oh, we got a bit of this guy going through the motions. Doing a bit of a dance for us. somewhere but I'm not quite sure where exactly oh hello found his little friend this one's the quiet one I'm getting dripped on by this tree. Oh, there's our noisy friend. These guys are nearly always in pairs. They're just having a little chat to each other as well. If you see one by itself, he's probably lost his mate. And even in flocks, they're sort of nearly always in even numbers.
if I can hold this still enough might even get a photo or two out of this because every time I press the little shutter button I move the camera I'm going to walk slowly around the bottom of the tree see if I can see them from front on They've calmed down quite a lot and they're looking very happy with themselves. Oh, I'm just going to walk over here, lean on a tree. And of course attempt to find them again. Apparently, a pink-eyed one is female, a dark-eyed one is male. But even leaning on this tree, I'm hopeless. Well, that's pretty good. Huh. Now they're just going to sit there and be nice. I can't leave them, can I? Focus, please. Auto focus, gee. I don't know. Oopsie daisy. So I think we might have pink eye on the left, dark eye on the right. Wow, this is bad. <laughs> Too zoomed in. Okay guys, I'll leave you to it. You look so peaceful. Thanks for that. Well, while I'm doing birds in my uh, street, I might as well have a look in the backyard. And what do I have but a spotted dove. So if I'm going to make a video of today's birds, I suppose it has to go in it. The black cockatoo flew past a little while ago, but that flew past. And I did see a honey eater out here, but uh, yeah, I got all day. Oh, I found one more. Can't very well have uh, birds in my street not film a bird on someone's front lawn. Got a peewee, magpie lark, and he is literally 
that far from me. And up in another tree. The western magpie. There's a few of those just uh, congregating up at the park, I think. So keep wandering up there. Now magpie larks just uh, doesn't care about me at all, which is good. Well, the duck pond is no more. That's what it's like. A couple of nice white gums in the background there. But no pond. So no ducks. Okay, I have some rainbow lorikeets up there, hanging upside down. Here's some magpies in the background there. Just trying to move myself around. This tree's become uh, quite the place to be at the moment. And here's some wattle birds. Up in there. A couple of laughing doves over there in someone, uh, someone's tree. bird in there somewhere. There he is. Red wattle bird or wattler as we call him. Another rainbow lorikeet up in there. That was a peewee or magpie lark call. Now where did that guy go? Well, they just don't want to sit still, do they? I think I've got a lorikeet there hanging upside down. No, that was a wattler. Lorikeet's gone, wattler scared it off. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, well, there's lots of noise. Bird wars going on. All the wattles are having a good time chasing each other. Rainbow Lara keeps yelling at him. But they're also hard to see up there because, of course, they want to be in amongst the leaves, don't they? Rainbow lorikeet hanging upside down as they do. 
and back into the thick stuff. Good tree, this one. Must be because it's in flower. Okay. Oh. Once again, they fly. <laughs> Cockatoos. Flying all around me. Because they're landing in all the wrong spots. One there. I'm tearing gum nuts off trees. the traffic noise. Oh. <laughs> Every time I look away I lose something. Let's see if I can get these noisy ones. close but uh, they won't come out in the open. I'll let them do all the talking for you. It's quite amazing. now telling me uh, it's running a bit low. White tail black cockatoos. He's 
ones are being good. And if you look closely, that's my house. <laughs> oh dear. That one's feeding a young one, too. The young one's the one at the bottom. That one. The one there in the middle is feeding it. Yeah, sorry, looking around again. Quite amazing. There we go. Feeding again. That was pretty good. I've got one just here too. You're probably looking at me wondering what the hell I'm doing. But that's quite normal around here. I think lots of people have wondered that today. Yep, here we go. Mass exodus. A few left behind me. Hmm. Anyway. I've stumbled across some flowers. Not even sure what it is. Probably something introduced by the looks of things. Never know. I might have to uh, have a bit of a look see. See if it's native, who knows, it might be. Hmm. Well that's it, battery running low. Bye bye. Uh, white cheeked honey eater. Something else for my couple of mornings of finding birds around my house and street. Because they move so fast. And he's gone.